world. Any idea? Yes. You're not going to. I haven't heard that word for a while. But yes, absolutely. The best pharmacist is in the head. And this is where we do a tape change. <laughs>
But the CEO grabs hold of me and pulls me inside and says, under no circumstances can you require this particular staff member to stand up and do any facilitation in the class. And I looked at him and I said, can I just remind you that you've brought me in to train them in facilitation? And he said, under no circumstances will you put this staff member into that scenario. And I said, in all respects, you've brought me in because I've got the international profile to help with this and certainly I will not put anyone in a predicament they don't want to be in. So what happened, the girl then approached me before the course started and she said, please, under no circumstances, and I said, actually, <laughs> the CEO's come and spoken to me, and I said, um, by the way, just on that note, are you finding your career's kind of limited here? And she said, oh yes, I can't get over this. I said, is it because you're not speaking? She said, yes, I'm aware of that. And in fact, I can't speak. I go red in the face, I go dry in the mouth, I get stuck, I go, my voice starts going a bit funny and I actually lose uh, control. And as a consequence of that, I can't stand up and speak in front of people. So I said to her, do you want to do something about this? Because what's she doing? She's playing some record. And what could we do? Well, we could actually change the record, couldn't we? We could actually scratch the record is the term I use. We could come and scratch the record because it's only one of three things or a combination of them. It's either a picture she's seeing. What else? Sound. Sound or it's a feeling. So there's something that she's actually doing. So why can't we just go and scratch the record? So I said to her, is this something you want to change? Because we need someone to be willing to change. Because if, if you say, I'm not willing to change, the subconscious will take that as a command to not change. In fact, if you remember we talked about the brain being 10%, remember that? We said everyone talks about the brain being only 10%. And then I confirmed what the real story was, that the conscious mind was 10% and the subconscious was 90%. And between those two, we had something medically we called a critical faculty. And that filtering system is when I'm talking to you right now, you go, I believe that, so you let that in. And then you go, no, no, I don't believe that one, so you stop that. And then the other one, you go, well, I believe it, but I have to mix it with some other personal experience. So by the time it's going through your filtering system of the stuff you let in, and by the way, if you remember the, stat the stats, of the two million bits of information you take through your five senses, you only allow how much in? Does anyone remember? 0 .00 awesome. Excellent. It's 2 million in and only gets through 134 into neurology, which is 0.00067% you actually let in. But that's why you're aware of this fan. You can actually feel it on your body. You weren't consciously aware of it until I mentioned it. You can see the red carpet. You've got all these things behind me. But you, being a loving being here, you're just focused on me, hopefully. So I'm, I'm in that less than 1%. But when we actually do hypnotism, what they effectively are doing is turning off that critical faculty so you cannot filter it out and the person can talk directly to the subconscious. And where are all your doubts, fears, limiting beliefs kept? In the subconscious. And sometimes you don't even know yourself sabotaging yourself. For example, if you're having issues with money, and I said to you, what are all the sayings you remember about money? What are some of them? Money doesn't grow on trees. What else? Money's the root of all evil. Any others? I'm not Rockefeller. <laughs> yeah, any others? Easy come, easy go. Excellent. Now, the interesting thing is when we ask you something and you can go dum, 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 dum when you're in a safe environment and you do that, then the next question is, well, if, you've, if you know that, if it's sitting there, what's it, what, what impact is that having on your life? And if you believe in that stuff, what actually impact is it really having? Because if I believed all those things, what would I be doing with money? Now, when a person hypnotises you, just for the safety aspects, you actually hear everything. You're actually totally, totally aware of everything. And that's why 95% of cases, I'm a clinical hypnotist, right? I'm a master certified hypnotist, but I'm actually clinical. So I'm clinically certified in that area. And when you actually look at that, do you know when...